Hello everyone, I am Dr. Maria Espinola. I am a clinical psychologist and today I am going to share with you some techniques that can help you calm down quickly. These techniques are called grounding skills and they can be specifically helpful to people who have been feeling very overwhelmed or who have been struggling with panic attacks, high anxiety, traumatic memories, or racing thoughts. Grounding basically means to bring your attention to what is happening to you physically right now, either in your body or in your surroundings. It helps you stay present in this moment instead of feeling overwhelmed by sad, scary memories or negative thoughts about the future. The first technique that I will discuss with you today is called the frozen orange, and I learned this technique while working at a hospital. We will use this technique to help patients who were feeling very overwhelmed with traumatic memories, with flashbacks, with urges to harm themselves, or when they couldn't connect to the present moment. And I am going to demonstrate that technique for you right here, right now. Here I have a frozen orange. So I think it is a really good idea to keep one or two frozen oranges in your freezer at all times, just in case you ever need it for a panic attack or one of the situations that I mentioned before, you or someone in your family, someone you're caring for. So the idea is that you will keep these oranges there and when you need them, you will bring them to the palm of your hand like this, okay? So the idea is that you will first connect with the sensation, the physical sensation of having something that is frozen, sitting there, touching your skin, right? So it is basically impossible to ignore. And you first connect to the weight of the orange, right? The feeling, the temperature, and you also pay attention to how bright it is, right? The colors. And then you want to scratch it a little bit and bring the orange close to your nose to smell it a little bit. And it's delicious. So there you feel a, a refreshing, beautiful aroma of the orange. One of the most common grounding techniques is called the 54321. And that starts first by paying attention to your breathing. So you want to breathe in through your nose. Breathe deeply into your belly. Okay, hold it and then exhale through your mouth. slowly so you want deep long slow breaths for a few minutes until you feel more relaxed and calm down and then you want to find five things that you're going to acknowledge five things that you can see whatever you are so for example, in your room. So you want to maybe acknowledge the pillows and then you want to see, look at the ceiling and acknowledge the ceiling, the furniture, right? Five things. And continue to breathe in, breathe out and move on to acknowledge four things you can touch. So that can be your hair, it could be the material of your clothes, right? It could be your skin. So you want to find four things that you want to touch and acknowledge. You want to stay present in that moment, connecting to what you're doing. 
Then you want to continue breathing in and out. And you want to acknowledge three things you can hear. So that could be the traffic sound or some music or the TV in the other room. Right? Three things you can hear. Then you're going to continue breathing in. things you can smell. You want to acknowledge two different aromas and that could be a candle, it could be a smell of nature if you have the window open, okay? Perfume. And then again you want to continue breathing in. And finally, you want to acknowledge one thing you can taste. So that could be candy, chocolate, a little snack. Okay, one thing you can taste. In order to practice grounding skills more often, a great idea is to build a whole grounding kit. So I am going to show you now what do I have in my own grounding kit? So grounding kits look a little bit like this. Probably if you look around your house, you will have, you will find something similar. The idea is to have a bag like this or a smaller um, with different things that can help you ground yourself by using your senses. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I have here. So first I have a candle. So I love candles and I recommend this to people a lot just to stimulate their sense of smell and calm down. This one is called Escape the Ordinary and it smells delicious. Here I have an antibacterial. So you may have this now with the coronavirus, a lot of people are using them. But um, I have been recommending this for a long time because the idea is that during the middle of the day, you may get overwhelmed with different thoughts, negative thoughts, you're worrying a lot, you're overthinking things. So in order for you to get back into the moment, into the present moment and calm down, you want to stimulate your senses, right? So this is a good idea because you can just like place a little bit in your hand, like this, right? And feel that feels in your hand. Smell a little bit. This one it smells really good actually. It's called stress relief. And there are different aromas. The whole point is that you're doing something that is stimulating your sense of smell and also your sense of touch. Okay. Something similar as well is the hand lotion. With this you want to do kind of like the same, right? So um, it feels nicer than the antibacterial, but you can connect to the softness of your skin, right? And do it in nice little hand massage. Okay, and that helps me connect to the moment. Okay, so you can do this a few times a day. I have um, a few that have to do with Touch specifically. So this one is an embellishment. You may have a, your grandma may have it. You may have it something like this around. But the idea with this is just like to pay attention to the different materials, right? The movement, how shiny this looks, the different textures. And while you're doing grounding with this, you're just like paying attention to how your senses get stimulated. And just to be present in this moment. Um, this is something that you may find in your house. Uh, people who wear earrings, rings, uh, may have these little things around. They're pretty soft and they feel really nicely. So, and the other thing that is nice is 
very small so you can take them around with you so when you want to ground yourself by using your sense of touch you just simply touch like this and connect to the sensation right the most important thing is that you're paying attention to what you're doing because if i'm doing this but i'm watching tv it's not gonna work i have to pay attention to what i'm doing and use this to ground myself Mm. This is uh, this is a, an oil, massage and body oil, and it's called Breathe Easy, and it's very delicious. It's like eucalyptus, so these are pretty easy to find too and inexpensive. So it is a good idea to have one of those, and what you want to do is to place. Just tiny bit on your on your hand and then go like this and then it smells like this oh it's so nice mm. teas i'm a big fan of different teas this one is called soothing caramel and you can find there's a, a huge variety of teas that are pretty delicious there are some of them that help both mostly help you calm down and i think they do uh they can be calming or they can give you energy i there was one that i really liked that uh was has that orange citric uh, aroma that i showed you before with the orange uh frozen orange technique that can be pretty helpful candy or chocolate is small you don't want to overdo this and also because you want to just pay attention to something as small and stay with it so also to stimulate your sense of taste and then here i have a little snack which is also to stimulate my sense of taste but it is really important for me to eat every two hours and i recommend that to people just to keep themselves balanced i mean you want to eat healthy snacks every two hours and then make sure that you keep the, the the big meals of the day right breakfast lunch dinner always because if we don't eat for many many hours sometimes we get stressed personally i do and i know a lot of people out there do as well I hope you find these techniques helpful. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to subscribe and share this video.